Sure. So I can tell you for me, it started last fall when I was interviewing uh, Steve Kaling, the CEO of Kelanova, the snack company. And I asked him like, well, what are you thinking about these uh, GLP-1 drugs? And they were like, listen, we're watching it. We're not sitting here. We're not being, you know, uh, just complacent on this, but we're we're watching it and we'll, we're prepared to mitigate any impacts. Um, we then saw uh, less than a year ago, earlier this year, uh, that um, the CEO of Novo Nordisk, which makes Ozempic and Wegovi, that they uh, told um, us that they were getting phone calls from CEOs of food companies that were scared. They didn't know what was going on. And there was this big question that was coming up. We saw it in news headlines. It was just like a major topic of conversation. Was Ozempic going to finally deal a blow to big food that any diet trend of the past was simply unable to do? And just in case anybody forgot, Kelanova makes those good things like Cheez-Its and Pop-Tarts and all those good things. Pringles. Exactly, right? Some really things that maybe stuff. you wouldn't eat as much of if you're taking <laughs> Ozempic. Perhaps. But Dina, yeah, you're also true. here to tell us that big food, well they're gonna be just fine. How have they adapted? Well, so that's what they're saying anyway. Um, what we found is that some companies are basically like, oh, well, we're like, our portfolio is perfect for GLP-1 users. <laughs> of uh, course. <laughs> so we saw Nestle um, roll out an entire new line called Vital Pursuit of uh, basically like single frozen single uh, serve meals that um, are high protein, they have fiber, they have the nutrients that people um, are looking for when they're on these drugs or often when they're not on these drugs. Um, and so then uh, we also heard other companies like Campbell Soup and Danone say in public presentations that um, they had foods that were perfect for this cohort. And we spoke with ConAgra, which um, has spoken a little bit about this before publicly. And we had a, a conversation with them asking them what they've seen. And they said they're they're seeing it. They're seeing a bump in their frozen single serve meals. Um, and it's small, but measurable. And it's certainly something that they're going to keep an eye out uh, to see how it changes. All right, so what does the investment community say about all of this? They're like, great, new revenue stream. Or they're like, wait, the jury is still out on this. So most of the most of the people that I've spoken to, most of the analysts, experts, et cetera, were like, yeah, uh, there's opportunity here for some of these companies. And um, one uh, stressed this, um, his name is Bobby Gibbs. He's a partner at Oliver Wyman. And he was stressing just that like, even if you're not on a GLP-1 drug, maybe you were and you got off, or maybe you never were, but you really are just health conscious. This is a growing part of the of the world of American consumers that we all want to eat better. Um, and so making foods that serve those needs is a growing opportunity. 